The list of 3D tools out there is pretty much infinite. My personal go-to application when it comes to 3D is Blender. I started diving into it about 10 or maybe 12 years ago and I love to see how far it has come since then. And it is still growing. More users, more cool projects, more and better features. Awesome. But today I don't want to talk about Blender because I stumbled across Womp the other day, a 3D creation tool that I find quite interesting. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. One of the reasons why I think Womp, 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 <laughs> That's honestly a bit difficult for my German tongue. Anyway, the reason why I think it can be a nice tool, especially for beginners, is the fact that it runs directly in your browser and therefore on all operating systems. Plus, on their YouTube channel, they say if it can run Netflix, it can run Womp. Sounds good. If you want to follow along, the link to Womp is down in the video description. And now, Let's fire it up. All right, this is it, womp.com, a new way to 3D. Super cool. And in the upper right corner here, I can now open Womp. When you do this for the first time, you have to create an account. And once that's done, you can start to create. So this is Womp. In the middle, we have this 3D viewport with a couple of objects that I will treat the same way I would treat Blender's default cube. Click to select delete. Or let me undo this. I can come over here, select the whole thing and delete all at once. And now we're left with an empty viewport. Fine. Let's first give this project a name. I simply call it Womp Tutorial. Good enough for now. Next, I'm going to add a new object and I can do that right here. As you can see, there are only three primitives, a sphere, a cylinder and a cube and that's it. No planes, no icospheres, no Suzannes, nothing really fancy here. This alone shows that Womp is not trying to outperform all the established tools like Blender, Cinema, you name it. That doesn't happen here. Still, it's a lot of fun, believe me. I'm not going to add any of these. What I want to work with is this two-point curve. Click, there it is. And surprise, surprise, this curve currently consists of two points. Point one and two. One, two. Also, there is a default material on this curve. If I would want to change that, I could either choose any of these materials here or I could change it over here on the right but I think to keep this video short and simple this is perfectly fine for now just remember that you're not stuck with this material if you don't like it in the viewport I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out with the left mouse button, I can now rotate around the object and with the right mouse button, I can move the whole viewport. My goal now is to build a ladder with this curve. And to do so, I first wanna go into front view. That makes it much easier. Trying to find the right angle like this would be super tedious. Luckily, I don't need to. Instead, I can simply use this cubish thingy to quickly jump into the right view. Now I grab point one and drag it up like so. Then I go into the right view and move my point around using the green arrow. By doing so, I can see that the X position of my point is changing. And because I wanna line it up with the second point, I just click on that one and see that X is set to 145. I can copy that and paste the position here. Cool. Now back into front view. When a point is selected, I can reduce its scale like so. Or I can do the same thing in the viewport, just not as accurate. And I'll do that now for both points. 
I think a scale of 35 should work fine. Yeah, okay. Now I select point one again and drag it to the left. Next, I rename my object. I double click here and type in the letter W and hovering over the name reveals this little plus button that I now click on. And voila, I now created a third point. That one is in the same position as point number two at the moment. All I need to do now is to drag it around just like I did with point one. Let me quickly finish my W. Done. Of course, I can select each and every point and change it during the process. For instance, I think that point 3 can be a little bit smaller than the rest. And so on and so forth. To move the whole object and not only individual points, I can come over here, select it, and then I can move the whole thing, no problem. Now I can change the lights and environment if I like to by clicking on this image. I can try out a different one like so or so, but I think I like the original. Of course, there are still a few more things to explore in WAMP, but I'd say that's the basis. That's all you need to start creating something here. And once you're done, you can download the image, your 3D model, or publish your creation. Like I said in the beginning, WAMP is not here to really compete with the big guns, but I think it's super interesting and fun to play around with. And sometimes that's all you really need, right? And that, my friends, is it for this first week of 2023. I really hope you liked it. And if so, thanks. I see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.